Hi guys, Mr P here and your prayers have been answered. The renegade is back. Yes, I've got another little adventure featuring our hero, Mrs May. So let's take a look. Here it is, a Robin's Eggs. And this one's a little bit different as it comes straight from the Phonics series. So we might be using some of our strategies to help us with some of the tricky words. So Biff had to get the bats, Mrs May telling her they're in the shed. And why is she sending Biff? Well, there's no way she's getting herself dirty in this amazing outfit she's got on today. So off you go, Biff. Not even scared of the health and safety implications. What she'll do is send Chip to go with her. There we are. They can look after each other. Off you go. I tell you what, look at all this land this school has got here. They're going to have to be careful there. The government will be snapping this up to sell it off for some housing estates. The shed had bats and mats. It had rings and lots of things. Rings. What is it with PE cupboards and these rings? What are they for? Every school has more of them than anything. Else. Like one football, about 100 and odd rings. What do you use them for apart from balancing on your head? Right, I think there's been a bit of an argument here about who should unlock the shed. And then uh, Biff's just give it, listen, Chip, I will unlock the shed. Putting a foot down. They had a shock. Yeah, they did. I'll tell you why, because that bush is talking to them. Let's see what it says. So let's use our phonics here. Shh, it, shh, it. It's a robin. There we go. But like I say, the, this bush is, I mean, it's like straight from the Bible here, like the burning bush. A bush is talking to them. So it's nothing about the robin here. They're thinking, well, how's this bush communicating with us here? The robin was in a bush. All oh, right, so it's the robin speaking to them, is it? The robin had eggs in the bush. Sounds a little bit like an innuendo for a biology lesson. The robin sat on the eggs. Quick, tell Mrs May. Do you know why? They know what's going to happen here. Mrs May is going to have something up her sleeve where this is what the kids learn about for the next term. So they're well up for it. Hurry. Biff and Chip ran to tell Mrs May. Shall I call the vet? No, says the renegade. Who needs a vet when you have Mrs May? Mrs May put up a big net. Look at that. She's doing it all by herself. Caretaker there doing something else. He's worried now because if Mrs May can do that, when the budgets get cut, he's out of a job there because Mrs May will be doing it all. She knows how to play the game here, keeping herself in a job. We cannot go in the shed. Oh, it's not like you were going to go in anyway. You wouldn't touch it with that outfit on. She's set the camera up. She's been on a bit of the old IC2 Mr P training. She's embracing a bit of technology. Go on, girl. Health and safety covered there with the tape. Now that she's got that live video feed set up, this is the next half term's work. Now, now I've Googled how long it takes a robin's eggs to hatch, and we're looking about two weeks. It takes then a further two weeks for them to grow big enough to leave the nest. So you've got four weeks of work, but is Mrs. May worried? Absolutely not. It's all about the experience. She has got so much work to follow up with this. She's not bothered about book scrutinies. She knows that the children will be able to talk through the circle of life. In the circle of life. Although she's starting to look worried here towards the end because all this writing they're going to have to do, she's panicking about this interim framework, thinking how the heck are they going to be shifting formalities when they're talking about these chicks? So here they are, celebrating these robins. Off they go to fly the nest. Caretaker's angry. He knows he's out of a job when these budget cuts come in because the renegade can do it all. So there we have it, Mrs May guiding us with lots of examples of how to enrich the learning of the children by watching a live feed of baby chicks growing for about a month. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you have, please do like and share. I'll be back with another adventure with the Renegade soon. Have a good week. See you later. Bye.